and there's a variety of knitting needles that kind of various people have chucked out and given me. These are very useful for making a certain type of high sound. Uh, and, sort of, and metal pipes as well. You... The forks, of course, you know, the, the forks, I mean, that's another possibility. I mean, obviously this, this needs to be amplified, I think, but there's a fork and then you can uh, sort of attach a spring to the fork and that would produce even more resonance when it was amplified. There's the kind of multi-purpose aspect of it. You can get more kind of extraneous sounds by using the, the uh, Oh yeah, yeah, they'll see sort of play it with the violin there as well. I think um, this is um, this is one of my favourite all-time objects. I've used this a lot. This was found in the street in um, Budapest. Uh, it was fantastic kind of uh, plastic box that you can take all all kinds of kind of textures and you can attach long or short springs to this and play various parts of it so it, i mean it produces a sort of huge range of sounds just just um, so much you can do with this when it's uh, No, it's all right. But... <laughs> oh, let me skip with what looks like a chipboard door. Grey rubble, transparent plastic bottle, a crumpled tin, Tesco, hitter, shandy. Cellophane, a wrapper of a chocolate bar. bar. It's my house. Yeah. <laughs> 